Now, most people may not be aware of this, but some pencils, just like the ones in my hand here, can sell for $100 or more each. Today, we're going to look at some of the most valuable, everyday type of pencils that are worth the most money. Hey, it's Don here. Today we're going to look at pencils, just everyday style looking pencils. Now, some pencils can be worth a lot of money. Old pencils that you may not assume carry a value can sell for a lot of money. Now, we're going to show you some of the most valuable wooden pencils just like these to look for on the planet. These are ones that will routinely sell for a ton of money. Now, we're just going to look at more common looking pencils, things that you could still have in your desk in a drawer somewhere at your house, your mother's house or something right this very second. There are people that collect them. A large chunk of people will actually still use them because of the quality. Now, this one's mentioning Steinbeck in this one. John Steinbeck raved about specific pencils. Other folks did as well. So sometimes a pencil can be worth some money just because of someone calling it out. And we're talking 50, 60, 70 years ago. There are still collectors because of people like that. This is a Mongol. This is by Eberhard Faber. These go for hundreds of dollars. These are new old stock. NOS is what they were called. Now, many lines of pencils have been around for a very long time. Some of them are 100 plus years old. The same production quality, the same production line are still being run today. Mongol was one of those that had already been around for a very long length of time. Now, most of these two you will see marked as wood cinched, meaning that the eraser section is cinched onto the actual wood. It's embedded into it so it won't come off. One thing you'll notice looking at these, though, they look just like any other pencil you would see, even the modern day ones. The only difference is the marking on them. They have been making pencils this very same way for well over 130 years. So if you're not paying attention, you could have one that's worth some very good money. The numbering system, how it's written on the pencil will help dictate the age of it. Now, this lot here is over 100 years old. The erasers were true rubber from a rubber tree back then as well. $500 plus dollars for 12 pencils in the box. Now, this right here is the most sought after pencil out there right this very minute. Not only is it the most sought after vintage pencil, but they're making commemorative pencils. This pencil itself, the design, the construction is celebrating over 100 years of continuous production and use. Now, this is just two pencils, and one of them is used, and they sold for $150. These are that sought after. The writing on the pencil itself, the maker's mark on it, will help dictate the age almost every single time. These are referred to commonly as the Blackwing 602. This is a little newer version than the ones we just looked at, the two. The markings are very, very similar, but this one has the box as well. It's not a complete box. It is eight pencils for 400 bucks. Now here's a box with only five left in it, the original box. You'll notice it's a different box. Depending on the year that they were released, the boxes will be different. These still sold for hundreds of dollars. And this one has what's called double arrows. When you look on the other side of them, it has an arrow on either side talking about what these pencils do. Half the pressure, twice the speed. So you can draw much quicker. It'll still allow you to get the same dark color you're looking for with less pressure, less effort. Just these six pencils sold for almost 500 bucks on their own. There are many different versions of the same Blackwing 602. These are color bright pencils. They're blue colored lead. You could have acquired them in many different colors. Some of these would be like copy blue, which wouldn't show up when you're doing like book production or in a, a professional environment. $525 for five pencils 
and the box that they came in. Now here's a lot of the Microtomic, the same ones I showed you in the beginning, and this lot sold for $225. These are wood clinched as well, same manufacturer, same everything. The number on the pencils is different though. It's not a 602. Some of these fall in the 601 or 603 range in their numbering scheme for their production lines. Here's another version. Instead of the Blackwing, this is Van Dyke. This is a 601-3, and it's an unused box as well, $250. Now, one thing you'll notice is these pencils look just like any other pencil. They're just a normal-looking pencil. Even individual pencils like this can sell for $15, $20, $25. Even pencils that are used will still be able to be sold if they're the right type of pencil. Now, this is a Richard Best, and this is a Futura. It's a whole pack of 12. And this one sold for over $200. And yet another lot of Richard Best pencils. These are Tri-Rex. And here's yet another Richard Best Futura lot. These are six packs. Sometimes you could buy them in six packs. And it's actually in the store selling box too. The retail display box. $438 for this nice lot of normal, everyday looking pencils. Now, as I said, there's many different types of pencils. Some pencils are made for very specific types of activities, and this is called the calculator. This may be an accountant specific pencil so they can write down numbers very quickly there. They slide across the paper. This is a Blaisdell 600. Most of them do have numbers. This is a special grade just designed for very specific use. These ones here, it's a dozen of them sold for 535 bucks. Now, some like these are much easier to tell that they're something special, something unique. They do not look like a normal pencil. These were made in Germany. It's a very well-known maker as well. 328 bucks for this lot here. Now, here's a lot of velvet pencils made by the Venus Pencil Company here. They made tons of different pencils for many, many decades. Most of the standard newer ones will be green in color. These are much earlier than what you would expect to see. 300 plus dollars for this lot. Now, another thing to consider, sometimes just the packaging for these is worth some incredible amount of money. This is a very well-known brand. As I said, many of these pencil companies have been around for 100 plus years. Eagle Pencil Company has been around for a very long time. Some of their earlier ones sell for some insane amounts of money, like this lot here, $528 for these. It also has the store display box, which doesn't show up very often. And here's a single box, almost 20 years newer than the last lot we just showed you. And this one box complete sold for $184. Inside, though, they look just like any other pencil out there. The odder the pencil, the more expensive they can go for. This is a German made Lyrato pencil. This is a memorandum, $142 for this one single pencil. Again, it's just a wooden pencil. It looks like pretty much any other pencil out there. Now, here's another type of pencil. This is a blue-black pencil, and it's made to look like ink. It's supposed to be one of the darkest ones out there at the time. There's modern-day versions of these two that are called Jet. It has the same dark, deep black tone to it. These are basically normal wood pencils, but with special lead inside. This lot sold for over $200. Now, there are as well advertising pencils, wooden pencils for groups, for TV shows, the Smurfs, A-Team, things along that line that can also sell. Here is a lot of KISS, vintage KISS the Rock Group pencils from 1978, and this lot sold for $143. Types like this can sell into the hundreds as well. They just don't show up as often. Here's just a couple more examples of some advertising ones, and these are for the West Kentucky Coal Company. They're marked with advertising for the company name as well as the manufacturer's name on the other sides. Number two, standardized pencils. This lot here, as you can see, sold for $125. Novelty pencils are also highly sought after. This is a large 68-inch long pencil. It's a wooden pencil. One thing you'll notice, too, it's a normal looking pencil. It's marked just like the smaller version of it would be, 
but its massive size. It sold for hundreds of dollars as well. Now here is something else you may run into. These are designed to look like a wooden pencil, but they're not. It's a solid metal pencil, and it's a mechanical pencil as well, so you can swap out the leads, but it's designed every bit of it to look like a normal wooden pencil. These can sell for 100 bucks plus each. Now similar in look and style to what we just showed you are what's called bullet pencils. Inside this metal case would be a wooden pencil. Most of the time, the wooden pencil is permanently installed in there, so it cannot be removed. It has a bullet shape at the very end. These can sell for some phenomenal money, and they mostly are advertising pieces. This one here sold for $1,302, one of the top range for these types of things. Most of these bullet pencils sell for much cheaper, $15, $20, but some of them, as you see here, can sell for some phenomenal money. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you an idea some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends And Weeble go all around. One day, kids pretend they're flying into Weeble Airport. Next day, they play around the Weeble Cottage. Or if it's real nice, they go out to the Weeble Marina and go fishing. Hey, hey, look at me and Weeble. The Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Romperoo makes Weeble toys.